Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, November 25th. It's the last week of the church year, and it's week 7 in our psalm cycle. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 120 and 127. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10 to 23. And please sing with me the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Lobis. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, in my distress I cried to you, my God, and you heard me. Alleluia. Psalms 120 and 127. And please recite together with me. Alleluia, in my distress I cried to you, my God, and you heard me. Deliver me from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall, I, what shall be given to you in return? What shall be done to you, O false tongue? Sharpened arrows of the mighty, and with blazing coals of juniper. Woe is me, that I sojourn in Meshit, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. I have dwelt with them that hate peace too long. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Alleluia, unless God builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Unless God keeps the city, the sentinels in vain keep vigil. It is vain for you to rise early. It is to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For God pours gifts on the beloved while they sleep. Children are a heritage from God, and the fruit of the womb is a blessing. As arrows in the hands of a warrior, so are the children of your youth. Happy are they that have their quiver full. They shall not be ashamed when they confront the enemies in the gate. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia! In my distress I cried to you, my God, and you heard me. Alleluia! A lesson from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 10. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold or silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. 
If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer a loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders, for all things are yours, whether Paul, Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future. All belong to you. And you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We place our hope in you. Dear God, for all things come to be by your word. Redeem us and bless us in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.